The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, boys and girls, so this is a come to Jesus moment for me and uh, for you too, because I'm going to explain to you about the astrology, how I got interested, why I believe in it, and what I don't know about it, which if I had to take what I don't know about it, that'd take about a long, longer time than I'm going to live. Anyway, I posted a chart up here of the E-mini S&P. Even though we're talking about this stuff today, I wanted you to see that the high today was a 38% retracing of the high we made on October 24th. Given astrology or nothing else, I'm looking to sell that because I believe these numbers, astrology, I don't quite understand. In August of 76, I started working at Drexel Burnham. I wasn't sure I was going to make it or not because I'd never been a broker before. I knew how to trade. They gave me some accounts. I did pretty good. After about six months, I knew I was going to do very good. I needed help. I called Jim Twentyman, who was working at Conti, who didn't like being a broker, and I said, "JT, I said, come and work with me, and uh, we'll uh, we'll you know have some fun down here at Drexel Burnham." He came down. He happened to be going with the lady who was in charge of all of the cooking. Uh, the well, it's not cooking. What was it called? Uh, catering for the breakfast lunch and dinner for the Mike Mil Milken group, which was upstairs on the fourth floor. So he, that was pretty much of a no-brainer. He came down to work with me. Jim had always been d dealing with Gann and stuff like this. But a lady came in uh, around 19, early 77, around February. She'd been over uh, watching the market over at uh, Dean Witter. She says, I know astrology and silver, she says, but no one will uh, trade because I don't have any money. I said, well, tell me what you're doing. And she says, well, I can buy silver. I do it usually once or twice a month. I never lose, and I, but I don't have any money. I said, okay, I'll tell you what. I'll, you give me the order. I'll put it in, and we'll split the profits. I said, I'm going to open a $5,000 account for you. We're going to split that and see how we do. And I said, how will the order work? She says, I'm going to call you, and I'll tell you to buy silver at certain time of the day, and then several days later, I'm going to call you back and sell it at a certain time of the day. I said, how much of a stop will you use? She said, I won't have to use a stop because we're not going to lose. And I was very uncomfortable with that. But I said, okay, I've tried everything, so we'll try it out. So she said, I'll give you an order, you know, to like to buy silver at 645 in the morning. And then when I call it back in a couple days, I'll sell it uh, whatever the time happens to be at 1018. So first thing I had to do was to figure out how I was going to get the timing right. So I sent the secretary across the street to Walgreens, buy me a nice little uh, alarm clock. And unfortunately, she bought one that was like a fire bell. And so the first time the thing went off, uh, it said to buy the silver and stuff. I'll tell you what happened. But we put our orders in not by uh, – uh, uh, in order to put it in, you know, by phone, you had to do multiple contracts, like 10 or more. But if you didn't, you sent it in by wire. So I had to tell the wire operator to put the order in to buy silver. At, and it was, so it was at 17, 18 in the morning is when it was, and uh, silver was trading at around 425. So he sends the order in to buy silver at 718. The guy calls me back, Richie from Richie or from Goldberg Brothers. He said, what the hell kind of order is this, buying it at 718? The, the, the price is $3 lower. I said, Richie, I said, I'm buying it on time. He said, are you buying it at 718 in 30 seconds or 718 in 59 seconds? I said, Richie. He said, you're going to have to call and give me a market order. So the, the bell rings. I put it in. It had thing on the market order. Well, anyway, after about listening to these bells ring about three times over the next couple of weeks, everybody was making fun of 20 minutes and me about I have new toe frog and all this other stuff and astrology and stuff like that. But after about five of those straight winners, everybody was coattailing her. And, of course, she had some she had some drawdowns. She would buy silver and might drop $700. But by golly, when it turned out uh, to sell it about two days later, it had a profit. The problem was, boys and girls, she was doing a moon and Scorpio 
astrology thing. All right. Well, she tri- Jimmy Jimmy reminded me that she had about nine straight winners. I paid her three thousand in the first group, and she, I still owed her some money at the very end, but I never could. We never could find her. She just disappeared. I think what she was doing is the same thing over at uh, Santa Monica at Dean Witter. They had a big boardroom there, and I think someone made her a better deal. But I never heard from her again. I did everything. I tried tracking her down through a private investigator. She just totally disappeared. Her name was Mary Rivers, and I never heard from her again. But that's what she was doing. After this was all over, Twentyman being the astute astrologer that he was, he had the times that we had these nine trades put on. So we asked Neil Michelson down at Astro Computing in San Diego, who was one of our accounts that we had done well with soybeans. We asked him, Neil, what is happening astrologically at these times? The next day he comes back and he said, Moon is going into Scorpio and going out of Scorpio. And so what we did is we started testing Moon and Scorpio. Well, the problem was starting in 1974, silver started a bull market that ended in January the 8th of uh, 2000 and uh, excuse me, 2020 of 1980. Okay, so it was a straight up bull market. Of course, there were moves down during that time. But it was heavily biased, and that's why she was right so many times in a row. So that's how that whole thing started. Now, the second part of this is I never looked at astrology after that at all because I'm trading for the next six years. I'm trading a um, – basically, they didn't have hedge funds back in those days, but I was trading multiple accounts. All Drexel, all Drexel accounts came from a lot, a lot of actors, a lot of uh, uh, sports celebrities, um, of politicians I had some had some big hitters in there 20 men helped me do all that stuff and we did extremely well but believe it or not folks we made a hundred percent a year for a 77 78 79 80 81 I left in April of 82 to trade on the floor of the exchange and we were doing well then but all we were doing folks was simple a B C D not any astrology at all so I just wanted to bring that to your attention the second part of the astrology that I got into. And remember, I didn't touch this again until August of uh, 1986. And I was trading in, well, I was actually working as an expert witness for Eddie Horowitz and uh, Kiesel Young and Logal and uh, Gibson Dunn and Crutcher over in California. I was making a nice, con- nice living, but I was not trading. I was following the markets. My licenses were parked in uh, San Luis Obispo at Bateman Eichler Hill Richards that was owned by, uh, what was his name? Uh, what was his name? The guy that ran for, Ro- not Ross Hunt. Uh, I can remember, he ran for president. Really, I'll remember in a second. Anyway, um, and th- now they were just using my, my uh, licenses because I had, you know, all the things. I had about seven licenses from Drexel before it was all over. But anyway, uh, we were doing that, and I was not doing very much. But I'm going to have to take a break here because I don't can't quite finish this up. But we'll be finishing it up on the next uh, term. The reason why I'm going through all this, folks, I made a big prediction that I thought the market was going to be bottoming here on that lunar eclipse that we had on Friday. Okay, now I didn't know if it was going to go down low or not, but we've had a rally. But the rally has only been 382. Not a good sign, boys. It's not a good sign. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Investors. 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, the second part of this astrology thing, I just posted the chart of the soybean meal. This is our trade of the day that we thought would be pretty good. You can see the three drive to a top pattern we had here over the last eight trading days on the four-hour chart. I also posted it on the uh, daily, and you can see also we were making a 61% retracement. Nothing to do with this. Well, it has something to do with astrology, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I really don't and don't really care. From the high-low, you can see here we went right up to the 61% retracement there. That was on Friday. Selling it on the opening today has been relatively the smart thing to do, but that's what I'm looking at. The reason why I'm going through the second part of this is in uh, August of 1986, I got a uh, letter from my, uh, my beloved sister and my aunt, and it had a note from Dr. Ruth Miller. Ruth Miller had been a professor there at Indiana, and I had uh, had the account of her husband, uh, John, and her son, Terry, uh, they had a large soybean, 1,900 acres in Southern California, which is a lot of land, folks. And I did hedging for them, and also we did Texas hedging. Long the futures, long the cash. We did really well. Uh, John passed away uh, very, very early in about uh, 19, oh my gosh, that must have been about 75. Terry, about a few years later than that, he was in an accident. Anyway, uh, she was a widow. She ended up trading until she was 96. She had a trade on when she passed away two years ago, folks. She was living in a nursing home in Indianapolis, but she was still trading. But she sent me a note saying that soybeans were going to go off the board at, I forget the price, it was 585 She had it written on a napkin from Louise's restaurant there on South 3rd Street in Terre Haute. And I didn't do anything with it. I had it on. I, I wasn't following the markets. I was watching the prices. Uh, and so, you know, we finally had, you know, old, uh, some computers. We could look at this stuff. This was 86 now. And so I saw when I looked at the price that no, no beans went right off within a penny. And she had told me this six weeks ahead of time. So I called her up and she's, look, I'm going to be going down to Florida for the winter. Why don't you come down and spend a couple months with me? And she says, I'll explain to you the difference between Fibonacci and astrology. And I, this was my slow time of the year. Uh, we didn't have any legal uh cases coming up well, had one that we just finished and so I had time until the first of the year it was basically a, a free trip 
And so I went down and I spent seven weeks with her and her husband um, in Sarasota, Florida. And uh, she started to go through all these things. I'm very skeptical, folks. I really am. I'm looking at this stuff. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But anyway, I started looking at full moons and new moons. And then she showed me the Bradley model. This book was written in 1946. Bradley predicted what the market was going to do with a pretty good degree of accuracy. And that's why I'm talking to you about this today, because we have a, we have a situation going on now with that same type of thing where it's predicting something that is going to happen. I put this in the newsletter. I uh, sent it out in, in a video. Uh, you won't be seeing it again until we reach a top, which is supposed to come in mid-January. The reason why is, folks, I don't use that when I'm looking at things to buy or sell. I go back to what gets me to the place where I want to be, and that is the old finish line. So that's what I'm trying to get to you. The point is you don't really need to know this. <laughs> I don't, I mean, look at this. Look at this chart on the meal. You don't have to know anything about astrology with this. Now, it just happened to be that that happened to be a lunar eclipse here and a, and a full moon. Sure, that worked great, full moons. And we've and I showed you before, uh, last week, I showed you how I counted 14 days. When you got a pattern that ends at one of these time periods, like we were looking at here in the S&P, let's work, get the old stop and P up here where it's right here. Here's what we're looking at. This here's the here is the S and P. There was the lunar eclipse right there. Okay, now if we went down and look at this on a daily basis, not doing anything other than that. See how I see how I mark these right here. There's your full moon. There's your new moon. Right, let's say that again. This is the full moon. This is the new moon. This is the full moon. These are off by one day, and sometimes they don't last very long at all. So all I'm saying, look at that. There was your number right there, forty-one forty-seven. The market went to 41, uh, 30, 41.22. It went 22 handles below it. But if you'd have bought it there, you could have 50 handle profit right now. So that's all I'm saying. I, I don't, I, you know, I, I don't know, understand this stuff. Now, our guest coming up here at the break, he certainly does. And he's the one that showed me this Bradley model and basically what it is. It's a little uh, verification of Bradley. Bradley took the 10 planets. This, this uh, complicated model comes from Mart, um, Alfie Lavoy, Air Software, one of the premier astrologies in the whole planet. And uh, he was the one that said, well, we'll weight these differently because Venus, Uranus, Mercury, and Jupiter have heavier weightings because these are ones that are related to economic cycles. And so if you weight those heavily, that'll give you a different Bradley model than if you look at all 10. And that's what we're looking at when we're watching these things. And the other thing is, folks, you got to remember something, too. It doesn't work all the time. The best that it ever does is around 70%. However, I will say this. I've seen this where uh, I believe it was 98 and also uh, 96, the mid-90s when the markets were going. The Bradley model was absolutely perfect. I mean, really perfect, folks. And when you stop and think that you do that Bradley model – 10 years in advance, 1,000 years in advance, or a, mul or a multi <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Shane is saying me I'm explaining it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, you can do it so far in advance that that's pretty good. But, folks, I'm a short-term trader. You can tell me where the market's going to be, uh, let's say, in three months, and I say, well, how's it going to get there? And that's where the patterns uh, you know, lead you to where you want to go. But it does have a bullish bullish bias working going uh, today. So that's the main thing we're looking at. The reason why I want to show you this bullish bias is because of right here, and that is in the – let's get this up here, right here. We'll see where we are. This is the Dow Jones – now look at the Dow Jones, folks. There's where we were. There's your there's your 382. Look what happened here, folks. You see how we started going higher? That said, that market has had a real bullish bias. We're up over 400 points, I believe, now in the Dow. Okay, so that's where we're watching. Remember, on the Dow on the daily, we were supposed to possibly come down just a little bit more, but we didn't get there. We only got to the 78% level on Friday right on the old money so buying it there would have been pretty good you're up about 450 points right now and moving higher and going sharply above 
And we can certainly say sharply above the 382 because that came in right there and we're still moving higher. So that's why it has a has a bullish bias. OK, that's what we're, we're trying to figure out as we're looking at that. So putting it all this together, you know, I look at it. In fact, those of you that have never seen that, I'm going to show it to you one last time because I believe we can do that. Hello, operator. Yeah, this is what we want to see here. And this is the one we want to see is right here. This is where we are right now, folks. We'll show you again in 2024 what that says, and we'll take a look at it to see if it's any good. Because if it's right, you're going to get a, as they say in the trade, a double whammy. It's either going to be long into January. And remember, we have the old January effect to look at. And then after that, we certainly want to be able to see, you know, some of the other things that are that are going on here uh, today. I believe we have a, uh, what do we call a break? I'm a safe. Stay tuned for the Wolf Trader, folks. The Shane Man's coming up, 877-927-6648, and I'm out of breath. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have the Shane Man in the house. Are you there, my is this, friend? 
Is this Duke and Duke? <laughs> Duke and Duke. Shane, you're going to get a kick out of this. I just got a, a quick uh, uh, text message from Twentyman, and he said, "Hey, he said, hey, he said, hey, Elon. He said, don't forget to tell these folks that this astrology is nothing more than numbers." <laughs> <laughs> you got anyway, it. You go got ahead. It. Tell us what you're looking at, my friend. Yeah, no, I hope numbers, I and uh, and I'll get into the optimization of this. Actually, I think you explained it perfectly. I I, I sent you that message. Uh, but oh, uh, it, yeah. it it's it's uh, it's important to weight these planets, I think, per symbol. So we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, I do want to touch on the geomagnetic storms real quick. So I want to give everybody an update where we are. We we are passing the peak now of the geomagnetic storms. Uh, we did have a couple pop up last week on Friday and over the weekend, but um, we we are past the peak here, guys. And this is this is good news for the market. I think I think once that these storms start to calm down, this is this. By the way, this is this is not astrology. This is geomagnetic storms. They're separate topics. Uh, this was written about by the Federal Reserve of Atlanta, and so these have a cyclical seasonal pattern. Now they do. They're a little bit unpredictable in terms of when they actually come off the sun, but uh, the they do. They do have a pattern here. So we're going to drop off substantially into November and then into December. So that means that the markets are going to have one less thing to deal with. I mean, they have been they have been just getting beat up by these storms. And I've showed this before, but these storms uh, move inverse of, of the actual seasonal pattern. So down here below this, I put the Dow Jones seasonal pattern and I realized, hey, these are mirrors of each other. So I don't know if this solar storm activity is causing the, the Dow Jones cycle or if they're just correlated or whatever it is. But uh, you can see that the Dow Jones has a seasonal low right right about now, and then it rallies all the way up until the end of the year. And then the solar storm activity drops off. So I think I think that's good news for everybody. I mean, it's been a long, <laughs> a pretty long few months here, I think, for the bulls. Uh, I mean, we, we were short for quite a while on this, but it's a lot easier to make money buying buying stocks and, and, and futures than it is shorting so um especially for long-term investors so i think there's going to be some good news coming out here uh, i think things are going to clean up a little bit so what i want to do is just i want to just refresh some charts here this was august 2022 this was uh a g3 storm that came out and when the, when we were in this bearish condition uh it it did tend to knock these markets down very very quickly uh currently in the current situation uh, you can see I've been tracking these storms as they come across here. This is this is the S and P four hour chart here. So you know as the market came up, the, the, these storms really just kind of beat on this thing all the way down. Uh, we didn't get any type of a big crash. I mean, we just got kind of a, a measured sell off here. But each time these storms came out, uh, they definitely they put some hurt on the market. I mean, at, at least on the short term. Uh, and so we did have one over the weekend. We had another one. I think there's another one coming tonight, like a little one. But I think the bulk of this is over, and so I, I do think from this perspective, if we, if we can get these off of the market just for a few months, that's going to help things out uh, in terms of this market going higher here. So that's one less thing we have to worry about. Uh, I, I do look at the the 12-hour time frame sometimes. We, we look at this, and these Bollinger Bands are are rolling to the, to the highs here, and a lot of times when you see that, uh, that that's the end of a trend. So... Uh, that's something that that I look for. Uh, we also see this on the daily chart too. So when these Bollinger Bands hit that peak, uh, that can often be uh, the end of a trend here. So this is this is a daily chart here, and I'm going to get into that Bradley in a minute. Uh, but this is the, this is the Fed juice here. These are the Fed internals. You can see that they've just been coming down, coming down slightly, and the market essentially just following the path of this. So the Fed is not committed yet to support this market. You know, we're still into this tightening phase, this tightening environment. But I think once the Fed commits here, I think we're going to have a nice environment here for stocks. I just think that the the Astro, uh, all of these cycles have essentially bottomed at this point. We do have some bottoming cycles in uh, November, December. Apple bottoms in about two weeks on one of my forecasts. And it's kind of a choppy period into here, I think. But ultimately, I think uh, – just the, the astro that's been dogging this market for many months here. I mean, we've had just some s substantial astro here dogging this thing is really coming to an end. And then once we get into this 2024, uh, we do have a lot of steliums here. So there's there's a lot of positive stuff coming. And I think there's reason to be optimistic about this market. And I think that's going to be good news for the investors. The, the question is when, you know, when does this finally turn up and, and start to, to, to press and challenge these highs here? I think that's going to depend upon what the Fed does. But in terms of the astro, 
I think that uh, you know the the worst is over, and then the positive stuff starts with this. We have this whole election cycle coming up in 2024, so I think I think that's going to be good news for for the bulls. Now, this Bollinger Band width here, this is on a daily time frame. This one also hit the roof here. You can see that this is all the way up here at the top, and every time this hits this this hits the top, you can see these trending situations come to an end. And then, you know, we get this stagnant period here while it falls. And it's kind of this whole uh, cyclic process of this Bollinger Band pushing up. So it pushed up to the, t to the high here. To me, this looks like this is a, a perfect place here to end this push lower. And then I think we're, we're setting up now uh, for something, I think, just more positive in, in the coming weeks. So what do you, th what do you think, Larry? <laughs> I know how to think one way, baby. A, B <laughs> equals C, D, and I'm sticking with it. No, you know, I'm a scared. I'm a scared of this stuff. I have been since I started learning it. You know, way back in '86, and you know, I'm. You know, you don't believe this, but you know, when I was a Catholic kid, to think of astrology that was a mortal sin. I mean, it really was. If you, not only that, eating meat on Friday, you know, not going to confession, all that stuff. But the main thing was that those were false gods before you, and uh, that was really tough. Uh, the ironic part about this. Is that the college, uh, the high school uh, Spanish teacher that I had, Sister Estelle Brazine? She was uh, the dean at the University of, so not University, St. Saint Mary's of the Woods. It's a private college outside of Terre Haute. And she ran that, it was in the hole. She ran it into, you know, to super what it is right now. And uh, she was invited to go to the Vatican Library. And she was there in an 88 after I'd written astrology, you know, Astro Cycles, a trader's viewpoint. I went over to see her and I had lunch with her and she told me that she could only go down to the fifth level. And it, I said, how many levels are there? She said, I'm not sure. She said, there's someone says there's 25 levels below ground in the uh, Vatican where all this stuff, these an books of antiquity are there. And she said, Larry, she said, there's stuff there that they don't even, they don't even like to talk about at lunch. You know, so I just, you know, I said, what am I going to do? You know, uh, anyway, Interesting. whenever, whenever the time, whenever my number comes up on the big casino, I'm ready. So it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. So um, taking a look here, this is the S&P daily chart. We, we track, you know, I track the Fed use and the Fed internals. These guys have been in a cell since uh, July the 20th year. So this is the Fed use has been in a cell since July 20th, the Fed internals since the 18, since the 815. So quite a while we've had this persistent downward pressure. We still have a sell in the Fed juice. It has not gone into a buy. So the problem is here, we do have, you can see this quad lunar cycle here in blue. Uh, these are lunar cycles by the moon. You can see they've been tracking this market pretty well. Uh, we can go all the way back here to 822. And then you can just see that these little blue arrows, just by following what the moon is doing, uh, have been tracking this market very well. We, and, and these are, you know, believe it or not, these are given a month ahead of time. Yep. This is come. Yeah. This we'll talk about this. We got later. we got to pay a few bills. We have a question with two when you come back, Shane. Okay. Sure. Sure. Shane Smolian, folks. WolfTrader.com. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we've got a caller from Elgin, Illinois. He'd like to ask... Well, he'd like to ask what you've got so much that, you know, what's your number one go to signal? That's what he's asking. Oh, that's easy. The Fed juice. I just put my money in and I don't think about it. I, I trade a basket right now. I have a basket of six symbols trading on that thing. It's very stable. When you put multiple symbols together, I have daily stops on that, too. So, um, yeah, I put them all together and I just let them go. I don't even think about it now in terms of that's trading in terms of forecasting. Uh, and I like the polar R squared, too. I do trade that. But. Fed juice, 100%. Just go with it. Um, in terms of forecasting, I got to say I have the CAT Master Graph here. So what this is, this is an actual forecasting tool. So this is not a trading tool. Trading is different than forecasting. And I think I think that's what Larry's talking about with the ABCD uh, concept, that he's he, he looks at the forecast and then he's ap applying the, the, the discipline of the trading model to it. This is a forecast model that I have that looks at four different um, four different models. And they're all independent, and I put them together, and it forecasts what's going to happen. So this said that we were going to have a double dip this month, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, it, it pretty much followed this to the T. So you can see this was the beginning of October here. It showed us coming down. It showed a bounce, and then it showed a lower low in the markets here. Uh, and then we're supposed to be having some type of a bounce here now coming into early November. But if you go back and you actually look at the market, um, you will see that that's, that's what happened. And that's a perfect segue into our next segment here, which is the Bradley uh, but uh, this, and this optimized Bradley, which Larry was talking about, but you can see this is this is the, the double bounce into here into October. It did exactly what what it said it was going to do. And the reason why I, I use that model is because they don't always agree. Sometimes you'll get one model that says up, one model says down, one model says sideways. So I basically just put them all together and I and I put them in a spreadsheet and I weight them and I, and I call it the cat master cycles and transits or combined astro transits. I had a couple of names for it. And I just call it the cat, and that that's a really nice forecasting model. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, every we get a pretty good roadmap every month. But now, as Larry was talking to you guys about, uh, we have the optimized Bradley. So let's let's talk about this. This is very interesting. Uh, this is by, like as he said, this is by Alfie Lavoy. This is from Air Software. And so what what Alfie did was he took the Bradley. And the Bradley is a composite of multiple planets and all these different things and, and the altitudes that they, or the uh, declinations and all these different things. And it, it, uh, and it weights it according to the market. And so this one is weighted for the S&P. And so 
um, this 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 black line down here is the S and P, and then the red line up here is the actual Bradley. So, I do want to just explain something to the audience that forecasting and forecasting to the future and back testing is not the same thing. I know a lot of people think that's the case, but it's not. And so what I want to show you is if you go back, so this line right here, this is where the S&P stops here. This is this is in June. So you can see here, this is June. So everything before this, this is what we call in-sample data. This is the past. And this is what people talk about as, as, a, as like a back test, right? And this is what's called out of sample. And so when we're talking about trading and developing trading systems and forecasting, really what happens in the past does not really matter too much to be honest with you, because a lot of times when you optimize a trading system in the past, it looks so good, it looks perfect, and this, and we, we found the holy grail, and then you go to do it in live in real time, and it just doesn't work, because you model noise, right? So it's gonna model all the noise and all the hiccups, and so the problem is you wanna make sure that when you look at the past, the past does match the market. So you can see down here the S&P does this rise here, here's the Bradley. You can see down here it does a dip here, and the S&P goes down. The Bradley goes up, the S&P goes up. It's a really nice match into the past, right? But does the but does the question is does the past equal the future? And that's a big question when we're talking about forecasting models. And so I'm always focusing on making sure that whatever was in the past is going to go out into the future. So what I did was I stopped this in June, right? I stopped this in June and I just let it run. I let it run for for you know June, July, August, September, October, five months. And so what did it do? And uh, out of sample on its own, okay, you can see I, I numbered these these counts here. And when you actually look at this, it actually continued to forecast the S&P very well. You can see this number one here is a high in July, and then it comes down into two and, 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 and up into three, down into four. And so it did a very good job here of forecasting this general movement of the S&P, and then it has us going up now. Uh, so that that's that's a good sign. I mean, I I would never use a model that I did not see out of sample, that I did not see how it actually forecasted, because I can come up with a thousand different models that look great on a back test, but they they may not work. So if we actually zoom in, you can see this is all out of sample. This this is, remember I stopped this in June, uh, and you can see here that at the, at the low here, this letter A, you can see this is the market <clears throat> low here at A. The letter B here, you can see this is the market high here at B. You can see the letter C here, this is the market low here at C. Market high here at D, and then the market low here at E. Now, I want you to, to pay attention to something here, too. This The shape of this graph right here, this looks just like the cat master that, we, that I just showed you. So the composite that I made, this composite one here, that I actually took four different models and put them together, that actually matched it pretty well. I mean, they, these two have nothing to do with each other. And yet they forecasted the same same outcome in the S&P. So um, it's a new tool, and it, and we're going to be adding it to all the markets. I, I you know give me a month to subscribers. I would give me a month. I'm going to put this on every market, uh, on every symbol that we have. So you'll have an optimized Bradley for, you know, for metals and energy, energy currencies, all that stuff. Because now instead of just having one Bradley barometer for the S&P, uh, we can customize it. And so that and that's what Larry was talking about when he said that they have different weights. So, you know, maybe the S&P likes Venus more and, you know, gold likes uh, Uranus more or silver likes Mercury or the moon or something. So now we can actually weight this. So that, I just thought that was interesting. Uh, and so I sent that, you know, we were Larry and I were talking this weekend about that. And he always calls me with some timely questions. And that one came up. The other one that Larry asked me all the time is about steliums. And, and that's coming up in 2024. So I think that's going to improve the outlook in, in, into 2024 for sure. Um, do, can we talk about Bitcoin for a second? Absolutely. We, we got uh, all the okay. time you need it for three minutes. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I Finally. mean, I have a, I can talk about a lot of markets today, but yeah, I, I like Bitcoin talk. a lot here, guys. Um, and, and Bitcoin, you can see this is this is the this is all the major cryptos here: Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, Cardano, and they're all in this charge higher. I I like crypto here. I mean, I, I think crypto serves many functions. Uh, it serves, you know, it's a store of value. And then now with, you know, it tends to be a panic vehicle for banking situations. And it also tends to be a, a vehicle of alpha and, and, and these high uh, risk on type trades. I really think this is a precursor to the S&P. I really think it's already telling us that the S&P is about to do the same thing. I mean, it may, it may take a month or two for the S&P to get up. But I really think that this is a leading indicator for S&P. Uh, so I, I, I feel very positive about Bitcoin going forward. I really do. I, I just think it has a bright future. They're talking about the ETF. There's so much here 
that I think it has ahead of it. And, and we saw how quickly, you know, back like a year ago during the FTX, how quickly it jumped like 30% in just a few days that, you know, it's, it's trading at 35 now. I mean, that high is not that far away. It sounds like it's far away, but really if you think about how quickly this has moved before, I think Bitcoin has all the potential here uh, to keep to keep moving here. And I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm bullish on crypto, I'm bullish on Bitcoin. And I think this is gonna be a proxy for the S&P uh, into 2024. I, did, I just, I really like it. It's following the solar cycles where you can see this, this line, by the way, this line right here, everybody can see this is the solar cycle. So Bitcoin has its own seasonal pattern too. So it's in a bullish one right now. Okay, we'll be right back folks. Shane Smolian, wolftrader.net. Com. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back with uh, Shane, and he's talking to us about the cryptos. Quick uh, thing, if we have time, uh, anything on crude oil and natural gas that look interesting? Uh, crude oil, I have the Fed use in a cell right now. Uh, the seasonal uh -huh. pattern is, has peaked on oil, but we have that Middle Eastern tension going on. So, uh, but that has, that has peaked now. So November is kind of heading down for oil. Uh, but it's, it's still, you know, that's kind of, it's kind of a wild card, but I just follow the Fed use. Like I said, I just, I just go with whatever the Fed use says. I just follow it. Okay. And these are two very strong Fed uses. Gold, gold, same thing has been tracking this well too. Gold still, it still looks pretty bullish to me more so than oil. 
uh, if mm-hmm. I had to look at the two of them. Also, just real quick, Apple. Uh, I just want to point something out to people. The Fed use has been in a cell since 629 on Apple. That's a long time. Um, I, I think Apple's coming into a low here soon, guys. I have this Wolf Trader wave that I wrote here, and this is a, a wave structure that uses machine learning. I have this coming into a low in about two weeks. Uh, and then we have a, a quad lunar cycle coming into a low around November the 8th. So I think Apple's getting close to some type of a low here in, in the middle of November. And that would make sense that it would bottom first ahead of uh, S&P because it's technology. And so I just think that we're, we're slowly in this bottoming process here. And I think you're going to see this rumbling here for a couple of months. And then I think 2024 looks looks pretty good. So Okay. Good. Uh, we've got, any we've other- got about go one minute to go. So... Why don't you tell the folks how they can reach you? Absolutely. You deserve so you a commercial. Can, <laughs> you can uh, head on over to wolftraderfutures.com uh, or www.fedjuice.com. And my contact is Shane at wolftraderfutures.com. Be sure to join us every Saturday, 8 o'clock. We have a webinar. We're going to be there this Saturday. Uh, you can It's free to attend. You can come out on YouTube at Wolf Trader Futures. And we're raising rates in, a, in about a, a month and a half. So lock in your rates now. If you guys want to try it out, you can get a one-week trial. No cost to you. Just try it out. Uh, See if you like it. See if it's for you. If not, that's fine, too. Uh, Otherwise, we'll see you this Saturday at 8 o'clock. So thank you for joining us, my friend. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, folks. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights will be our guest. Thank you, Shane. You did a bang-up job once again. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Larry. You bet. 